Hey guys, Kimberly here. I wanted to share with you how I print my monthly mailers for my customers. As I'm chatting with some of you, I'm finding that I do all of the steps at once, while some of you do the same steps as me, but you do them separately. So I wanted to show you how to do them all at once to save you some time. So I am in Avery already, so avery.com. What I need to do is I need to find the postcard template because I'm gonna print four images to a page. I'm not using the actual postcard paper that's perforated from Avery, but if you have it, definitely go ahead and use it. I just use a regular 110 pound cardstock. So I'm gonna find a template and the template for postcards is 8387. So I'm gonna type that in right there. Start designing. Depending on how your image is set up, you can choose either one. Mine is like a normal postcard. Uh, so I'm going to choose this one. And then I'm going to start blank. All right. So the first thing that pops up is over here on the right. Like, how does this work? We can either edit all, which means edit all four at the same time or edit one at a time. Since I want all of them to look the same, I'm going to leave it on edit all. And I went ahead and I designed a, a mock postcard show you guys I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to fit it within the dotted lines and you can see over there on the right it's putting it in all four so now sometimes I hear you guys all right let's print it off I'm going to go ahead and print it off like this but this is going to be a time-saving step so we have we're on the front of the sheet right now if we go to the back of the sheet this is where we can print our return address and their address so I'm going to go ahead and add a text box and I'm going to say you know my return address we're going to put that right up here now over here where it says import data mail merge so we're going to start import and mail merge and we're going to browse for a file i haven't saved it yet but let me go up here you are going to be looking for either something in excel or if you use something like me in numbers or google sheets it needs to be a csv so i'm going to show you how to do that real quick so up here um, I just created a mock. These are not real people, not real addresses. Uh, but you can see I have their name, street address, city, state, and zip. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go to File, Download as CSV. And that's going to save. I'm going to go back over to Avery. And it's downloaded. Going to browse for file. I'm going to choose it. Now, if you have another row at the top that actually says first name, city state if you have that you can uncheck this box if you don't want that included mine doesn't have that so i want everything to to be imported so i'm going to click next and now we get to drag we get to put things where we want it to be so i'm going to do just like a normal address um, and one thing I, i've noticed is sometimes people will put a comma right here don't do that because if you put a comma there if you end up with postcards that are extra it's going to have that comma there so just leave the comma off. We can put a space though. And the zip. That's perfect. And finish. And that is it. So if we want to change it again, remember we are on edit all. So whatever we do to this one, it's going to edit all of them. So I wouldn't edit any of the words. If you want to edit words, make sure you come up here to edit one <clears throat> and edit each one individually. But for this, I do want it to be in the center and I want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the size. There we go. And put it in the middle. And if you want, for me personally, I also drag in an image on the back that already has my return address and it has my website down here at the bottom. So just keep that in mind. If you're not uploading an image, you can also add your website down here at the bottom. So here's something. Now that I've uploaded these people, you can see now I have two sheets. So if you have a bunch of people that you're sending postcards to, you'll have more than one sheet. So from here, we have two sheets. And we can click back and forth between the two. So now let me show you printing. So here is the front and I want to print it myself. Now do we want to print the front, the back or front and back? I want front and back. So I'm going to leave that there. Get PDF to print. I am not going to save this one, but you can save yours definitely. There is some instructions that some people miss. So make sure you look at this. Just open the PDF. All right, I'm going to come up here to my print icon. 
Make sure you choose the right printer, and then we're gonna come down here to the settings because it did say that it needed to be custom to 100%. Now, I am gonna be printing on both sides, so I want this to be two-sided. Now, this is where the confusion sometimes comes. So, to know whether you want it to flip on the long side or the short side, this is the long side and this is the short side. Okay, so let's scroll down and see what this is gonna do. So, it looks like the actual postcard front is facing this way or this way, and then the addresses are facing this way. So if I were to visually put those two together, I'm gonna put this side to this side. So it's gonna end up being like this. I know that'd be kind of confusing, um, but if the addresses were the same, facing the same way as the postcard, we would flip it on the short side. So that way it would <laughs> look like this. I know that gets confusing. Um, but I want this on the long edge, so let me, I'm only going to want to print one. Um, let me do pages because I don't want to print two. I don't want to waste some ink. I just want pages one and two. So it will just show one sheet of paper up here. So let me print and then I'll give you one more tip. Make me a little bit bigger. So you can see I have the front and then the back. So it flipped on the long side. Um, now one time saving tip I do want to give to you is sometimes, well, first I use my paper trimmer, right? To trim this into the fours. But another, again, time saving tip, you're gonna be wanting to put stamps on it, correct? Do that before you cut. And if you're also going to be putting like a scratch and snip sticker, do that before you cut. Because if you're doing it one at a time, you're doing it one at a time. Here, you're doing it four at a time. So that's the last time-saving tip. So then all you gotta do is just put it in your paper trimmer. You can get one at Target or Amazon or any kind of craft store. Um, you just pop it in your paper trimmer, and now you have postcards. Super, super easy to send out. So I hope that helped you. If you have any questions, put it down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.